I learned Wing Chun when it's 1967. It's a long time when I was almost 17, 18 years old. And also, I learned with the first teacher is uh, Lok Gil, is one of the Yiman good students. And then after two or three years, I go to learn with Wong Sun Leung, and I learned from Wong Sun Leung long time. I almost learned 10 years and work for his, uh, become his coach to help the teaching, six years. And then I opened my own school in 1985 in Hong Kong. I have, up to 1990, I have almost 800 students in that time. And after I immigrated to America in 1992, then I teach, I opened my school in 1997 up to now. Sifu, can you uh, give us an idea of what it was like training with Sikung? What type of things Sikung used to emphasize in his school? Sifu Wong Sun Leung actually is an open mind person and sense of humor, good memory and sensitive person. He know what you are doing, he know what you want to ask, he know what mistake you make, so he can help you and correct you and build up your confidence very easy. I learned with him is my lucky because I learned a lot and learn very quick and very useful. And also, actually, he also, uh, you know, he, he, he also helped Bruce Lee for training for long term, at least two or three years, and helped a lot of his thinking. Even now he's showing and talking, I can see the shadow of my Sifu too. Sifu, in your opinion, do you think people train Wing Chun more serious now, or were they more serious in your generation of time? In the old time, people learning and training are more serious. But nowadays, the people training and learning more open, more smart, because maybe the internet, maybe more information, maybe more movie demonstration, at least fighting is all the same, but depends how you fight smart or not smart only. I wanted to ask you, you know, in a situation where we need to use Wing Chun to uh, face a violent situation, in your opinion, what are the most important things that people have to remember in that situation? In the doing of the Wing Chun, you must know they have different situation. First, you are learning. So you just follow what your teacher is talking and saying. Second, you are playing. So you just do whatever is you are good for that. And then you are fighting. You just know your structure, know your basic. Just do as fast as possible to finish your opponent. This is what we call fighting. Don't worry you are doing correct or you do uh, not doing correct. If you always do it correct, then in the natural reaction you are correct. And then you learn how to finish your pole as fast as possible. Then you have to first take out his body. Second, hit his weak part of his body. Number three is hit whatever he, he scared or he need to go back to protect. Something very unique about our training is the, the, the mattress usage. Of course, you know, I use this a long time, so I, I understand this, 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 this usefulness. But can you give us uh, some background, maybe why you started to use the mattress or how the mattress came into the, the Gary Lamb system? Mm -hmm. Actually, the mattress <laughs> is a funny story. It's come from uh, Wong Sun Nung timing. But at that timing, we are not using mattress uh, for, for protection. Actually, if some people stay in Sifu school uh, for sleeping, then they put the match on the ground, and then when we see some, we put on the wall. 
and then they use, you know. But later we find out the match help because less damage. And also people know very to always hold the power and and and, and explode the power when they are uh, uh, cheese out. Because you, you were more confident to explode your power. Then if you always hold, 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 when you really find maybe you are holding your power, you don't know. But after I have a match, you can explode your power and then you will know how much power when you are very using, how much you have. And also one thing good is, before we hurt the head because we hit the wall, we hurt the bed because we break the window, the, the, the holding of the window, and then we also hurt our leg because we hit the chair, hit the table, everywhere. Now we have match, guarantee no hurt. Why not? Sifu, uh, when we're playing Chi Sao, what, what are you, in your opinion, what's the most important thing that we should remember when we uh, use this part of the training? In Chi Sao, <laughs> don't make, don't too complicated, don't too fancy. Actually, is find out what is center line. What is your target? You are in inside you or you are in outside your hand. And also, chasing the target, don't chasing the hand. Don't hold the hand. Don't put the power heavy and too much and pass the limit to your opponents. And of course, you have a good sitting and your, your step are good helping. That means you have good angle and good uh, facing and elbow down. <laughs> if you say actually it's so simple, it's elbow down facing and look at the target, don't chasing hand. And also you know you your hand are in outside, now your hand are in inside, or your hand are two hand control two, or you are one hand control two, or you are two hand control one. That's this is like that. The, the program is like that, it's not so big, so complicated. One of the things you always tell us, Sifu, is each year our, our Wing Chun should upgrade. Of course, you get to see many different people that practice Wing Chun. Uh, in your opinion, what's, when people are trying to upgrade their skill, what's, what's missing? What's the most common thing missing when they try and elevate their skill? <laughs> Actually, why we divide to our system? to four level. The first level, same like people learn how to drive in a car. You must try correct and drive safe and don't hit your car. This is level one. The level two is you must know your engine and you must know how to fix your engine and you must know how to put function into your engine. This is level two. Level three is you must know how to race in your car. You must know how to trick your opponent. You, you, know, you must know how to disturb your opponent. This is level three. Level four, you must can make a car or change the engine from this car to this car or uh, put your Ferrari engine to a Honda. Uh, so let people think you are Honda, but when you Drive, actually, you are drive, driving a, 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 a Falali. So, this is different. This is what we call, the more you learn, you are more upgrade. Sifu, can you uh, give us some core differences, your, your opinion of the main points, the difference between Wing Chun and Western Boxing? Western Boxing actually is very good. Because we call this is a uh, natural fighting with the fighting axe and also he is doing something same like Wing Chun is they are not chasing hand they are chasing center they are chasing the target of the opponent then why we don't uh, they only do learn boxing because boxing is limited is controlled by a lot of rule Maybe no catching, no touching, no holding, and no bad hand. 
and no kicking. So, okay, you are limited. Fighting is no limited. People will, will do whatever they do. But one thing, good bad thing is, they can learn your speed, your rhythm, your power, and also your confidence. Inside you get hit, and even the, the sensitive of the reaction. That's very good. The Wing Chun also have this kind of things. They also learn speed, power, rhythm, and also the confidence in the fighting, and also the reaction of natural feeling and control. Sigmund, what do you think is uh, the, uh, a special thing about the Wing Chun system? What's most special about our Wing Chun Kung Fu? Wing Chun Kung Fu actually is very practical, very logical, very scientist, very physics, and very easy to use and easy to remember. Of course, the best fighter of the Wing Chun is if they can control feeling and also make himself very relaxed and do it natural, they already can uh, work out very easy and then uh, hurt or finish his opponent very easy in a very short time. Sifu, do you, uh, do you think your Wing Chun is different to other people's Wing Chun? I'm lucky I learned from Wong Chun Leung. Actually, he teaches us a lot. And also, he, he make un, under, understand more about uh, the structure, the using of Wing Chun. Actually, my Wing Chun and other people's Wing Chun are the same, no different. But some teacher, Wing Chun, Maybe they just show the tail of an elephant. But I try to show a whole picture of an elephant. So people will think, hey, you tell too much, you show too much, or you, your Wing Chun are different. Actually, it's not so big, just like that. Sifu, you've been uh, coaching now for many, many years. So in your opinion, you know, is there some kind of model you use for this? Is there a, a best way? to try and build up the skill in your students? For a teacher to teaching, in my opinion and in my experience, is only four things. The first thing is tell them what to do. The second thing is show them how to do. The number three is do with them and then correct them and tell them what problem they have. Number four is let them show you and build up their own their character or own best point. Then they will become a very good, not still to become a maybe a good helper or good coach. Sifu, do you think Wing Chun will remain popular in the future? Do you believe that this is a fighting system that can continue to have value in the new generation? Wing Chun can very popular for the future fighting because Wing Chun is very scientist, very open-minded and very active and very simple and direct to the point. And also, he can act with all kind of training, all kind of exercise, and also it help in the fighting, also help in your life when you are working, when you are facing the society, when you're facing your job. They also, their method, their way of fighting also help. And also one thing good is Wing Chun is a very, not a barbarian fighting. It's a very good control uh, with, gen with very gentleman fighting and also you can simple and finish the thing very quick and immediately. You know if you finish the thing and finish the fighting more fast, actually you are less more damaged.
If you can't finish the guy very fast and in a short time, you may be hurt him more because you have to finish him. So you will hit him more. He, he, keep hitting him, something like that. But when Chun is, we hit the weak part. We hit the direct to the point. And also, the action does not so complicated. I tell you already, it's not more than 18 basic of the action. So, it, it works and easy to learn. That's the point. Thank you, Sifu Gary. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Actually, I also want to keep more information to let people know about our Wing Chun and they will more understanding and more like our Wing Chun. Yeah. <laughs>